Charlie Hewitt, your environmental expert, and we're here in West Philadelphia at the University of Pennsylvania. And today, we are dealing with a new kind of invasive species, the sported lanternfly. The sported lanternfly is a fair dinkum issue in the main streets of Philadelphia, overflowing the servos in the general outdoors. They first invaded in 2014 from Vietnam and have been a nuisance to the wildlife ever since. Disgusting creatures, aren't they? Yuck. Alright, let's go on the hunt. So, today, we are looking at the spotted lanternfly. I already said, but the first thing I gotta do is I need to check my surroundings to make sure that I am not in danger. There are many, many very dangerous creatures in the University of Pennsylvania habitat. There are feral cats, feral mongooses, and my residential advisor. So first thing I want to do is I want to look around. There's light precipitation in the air, so it's perfect sported lanternfly hunting material. Let's get going. Oh, I just saw a squirrel go up that tree. Maybe we can come around. Oh, look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Right up there. Right up there. Oh, magnificent. Magnificent creatures. You can often see the squirrel having sexual intercourse in the dormitory area or often running into students' rooms. So, so elegant, so free. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, wait, I see something over here. Why don't we go over? Oh, man. Oh, interesting. Oh, man, it's a feral mongoose. Run, run, run. Oh, shit, oh, shit, it got me. We just came back. <sighs> running away from the feral mongoose. And let me tell you, that was the most feral mongoose I have ever seen. <sighs> I took my shoe and ate it whole with no mercy. It was the most feral mongoose I've ever seen and it gave me a battle scar. Battle scar. Infested with rabies. I probably am. I need to check in with a doctor or I soon could die of lethal mongoose causes. But nonetheless, let's get back on that trail for the sports and lantern fly. As the precipitation is heating up on Spruce Street and in Western Philadelphia as a whole, I'm looking everywhere and anywhere for the sports and lantern fly. So let's look on Spruce. Well, there's nothing on Spruce Street because I feel that the spotted lanternfly is hiding from me in my attempt to eradicate it on the hunt. Nothing in the back there either, but that was the fattest steamer I've ever seen. And I know people in the outback that only eat a chipotle. Fortunately, this was our last just attempt. We are in the quad at University of Pennsylvania looking for the spotted lanternfly. And we're just going to be looking around. Let's go. So I'm here with Raymond, and we're here to discuss the spotted lanternfly. Raymond, have you seen the spotted lanternfly? I have not. Do you know what the spotted lanternfly looks like? I do not. Have you seen a spotted lanternfly? Unfortunately, no. Why have you not seen a spotted lanternfly? I just have not, I have not tuned in. I have not. You're useless. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're fine. Come on. Come on. Sir, sir, have you seen the spotted lantern fly? Sorry, I don't like use photos of Have you? Ha he hasn't seen the spotted lantern fly. Come on, come on. Sir, yeah. have you seen the spotted lantern fly around West Philadelphia and the University of Pennsylvania's campus? There was, there was one in my room. There's one in your room. I got that one. You got, he got it. <laughs> he found the spotted lantern fly. But I think there's, I saw one over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. No amount of cardio in the outback could prepare me for something like this. I'm looking around. Can't find it. Can't find. Where is it? Let's go back this way. And this girl. Come on. Excuse me, excuse me, have you seen? Have you seen the spotted lanternfly? The what? The spotted lanternfly, it's an invasive species surrounding the University of Pennsylvania's campus. Have you seen it? No. Let's go, she doesn't know. Keep going.
We're on a trail. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Have you seen this sported lantern fly around University of Pennsylvania? No, I haven't. Do you know what it looks like? No, I don't. Do you know it's an invasive species that's killing our environment? No, I don't. She doesn't know anything. No one knows anything. Those people don't know anything either. In a series of unfortunate events, we cannot find a single spotted lanternfly. The locals have no idea what a spotted lanternfly is, and to me, that is really, really confusing and hurtful. They are destroying the environment out there, and if you see one and it looks like that photo, then I suggest that you kill it because it is killing the wildlife. This has been The Hunt with Charlie Hewitt.